I would say Katrina from Bali. Very beautiful, very stunning, and the, the most popular person right now. Yes. You have a shout yes. yes, yes. He's a legend, he's amazing. Um, I was able to work with him, with my client, which was Rusev at the time, he got to fight him. Um, you know, the Kali shop is famous. Um, my trainer, Fit Finley, um, was always trying to get me to do that. And I'm like, I'm not as strong and tall. I mean, Kali can just do anything. He's so strong and tall, you know, he's a giant. You tie, you call it a so I'm super excited about this whole WrestleMania week that is, oh, I've been training for for so long. Oh my God, this is huge. We've been joined by the most incredible and the most versatile performer from the world of showbiz and WWE superstar, CJ Perry, also massively popular by the name Lana, who has performed in the chamber and films with equal ease and continues to get lauded for just about everything she does. So thank you so much for your time, Lada. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, and how have you been? I've been great. I'm super excited. It's, you know, WrestleMania is this Saturday and Sunday, <sighs> April 10th and uh, 11th and 12th, 10th and 11th. So I'm super excited about this whole WrestleMania week that is, Oh, I've been training for for so long. Exactly. So, so what are the expectations like? You know, there's like so much you know to be expected from it. What what are the expectations like? Gosh, I mean, my heart just is running wild because you know this is the Super Bowl of Grammys, the Oscars, and so I've been training every single day. Butterflies are going through my stomach. Um, there's so much that could happen. Um, so it's just, you know, the, my ex-husband, Lana's ex-husband, Bobby Lashley, is fighting for, you know, his life, fighting for the title against Andrew. So that's really exciting. I'm really proud of him. Um, and so there's a lot of great stuff. Asha versus Bianca. I mean, they're making history. Um, Asuka versus Rhea. There's so many great things on the show. It's it's exciting. So this it's going to be this um, Saturday and Sunday yes. on the WWE Network and P. WWE is so instant, you know, in terms of feedback, it's so quick. It's so interactive. So what have been the key takeaways for you from WWE? What are the big learnings for you from WWE? Uh. Gosh, I've learned so much, to be honest. It's insane. I've learned, I've grown and learned so much as a performer, as an in-ring competitor, as an actor, but also life lessons that I can take with me forever. Um, I think that really to be, to believe in yourself and to be self-confident because, you know, the one thing about the WWE universe is they're gonna always have an opinion. And that's why I love them so much is because they always have such a strong opinion and they either, they either love you or they hate you, but they're definitely gonna vent about it on Twitter Twitter and every other social media platform. So it's really, you know, being a bad guy for so long in WWE, which now I'm a good guy, which is pretty cool. But like they, um, you know, they they will have so many often mean things to say. Like you want them to boo you when you're a bad guy. When you're a villain, you want them to boo you. So then they cheer for the good guy. And so it, you know, made me have thick skin, like realize like I'm never going to please everyone. So I need to believe in myself. And I think that's a really important life lesson is because <laughs> We're never going to make everyone happy, but we got to do the right thing. We need to be kind. And at the end of the day, we got to believe in ourselves because if we don't believe in ourselves, then who is going to believe in us, you know? So that's a big, big takeaway for me. Have you heard about, uh, you know, the great Kali from India? Of course. What have, yes. What do you have to say about him? I mean, he's the legend. He's amazing. Um, I was able to work with him with my client, which was Rusev at the time. He got to fight him. Um, you know, the Kali shop is famous. Um, my trainer, Fit Finley, um, was always trying to get me to do that. And I'm like, I'm not as strong and tall. I mean, Kali can just do anything. He's so strong and tall. You know, he's a giant. Um, so, uh, I mean, he's so great. He did so many thing, great things with Natalia. Um, when I was with Natalia, I really was trying to pitch for Kali to come back and be a part of us. Um, and we could do some dances. Oh, you've done, you've um, done that? Um, with Kali? Um, I would have loved that 
I know. Yes. I would have, I would have loved that, but, um, I think he had different plans. So, um, you know, we'll see, but I'm, I'm so happy for him and all his success. Yes. And Jinder Mahal, because you know, he's again, um, the, the Canadian wrestler. What do you have to say about him? Oh my God. Jinder's amazing. I, I was able to, another person I was able to work with was Jinder. Um, I, I call them hard body gender. <laughs> 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 and um, I don't know, um, basically, um, Rusev and Gender were paired together and I managed them. And um, I would introduce um, them as handsome Rusev and hard body Gender, you know, because he's so jacked and, you know, just looks incredible. And um, after that, he went on to great, great success and becoming champion. I, I just think he's an incredible WWE superstar right. um, and a very, very kind person. So that means, you know, your visit to India should happen anytime soon. I mean, you know, you have Khali, your friend, just, uh, staying in India. And then I'm sure, you know, with Jinder, you must have also shared something about India. So when are you visiting India? Is it happening anytime soon? I mean, I would love to, you know, and then we can come to India. And oh, I, I want to, I want to. Yeah. Hopefully when all this um, world situation comes, yeah. comes yeah. dies down a little bit. Have you heard anything about India's showbiz industry? I mean, you know, it's so, so huge and I absolutely would love to come there, you know. It would be like a dream to be a part of an Indian film. I mean, it's insane. I'll never forget when a Bollywood film came to Los Angeles and I went to a premiere and it was, there was thousands and thousands and thousands of people there. I was blown away. And this is before I started in WWE. So it was really my first encounter with Bollywood and the Indian culture. And I, I was like, wow, we, we haven't been exposed to this in America. I hadn't been exposed to this. And I was just so fascinated. And I, I was blown away by the movie. And um, I would absolutely love to come to India, um, you know, see the film um, business in Bollywood. And I would love to be, you know, maybe someone will put me in their movie. I would yes. love it. <laughs> and any Indian actor that you've heard about? Any Indian actor? Oh my God. Oh my gosh. There's, just, uh, I, I'm so bad with people's names. So, um, I'm really bad with people's pronunciation of people's names. Um, the Should say. I give you the options? I'm sure you must have heard these names. Shah Rukh Khan? Yes. yes, 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 yes. You've heard of Shah Rukh? Yes, yes. yes. Um, and um, there. Oh God. Salman I Khan? I forgot. I'm, what? Salman, Salman Khan? Ashwarya Rai? Yes. Um, and yes, 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 yes. Priyanka Chopra? And, Yes, yes. Priyanka Chopra, Jonas. <laughs> All right. Yes. Now, who's more beautiful? Katrina Kaif from Bollywood or Lana from the WWE? Somebody has asked that on Quora. Say that again. It says, uh, who is more beautiful? Katrina Kaif from Bollywood or Lana from WWE? Do you know what Katrina I would say, I would say Katrina from Bali. You know Katrina? Yes. Have you heard about Katrina? Yes. Uh, what do you know about yes. her? She's massively popular here. Oh my gosh. Uh, very beautiful, very stunning, um, and uh, the most popular person right now. Yes, yes. Fan has asked if uh, Lara can say, Ye dhai kilo ka ha. Ye dhai ye kale ka tu. I'll give you a dialogue in Hindi. And let's see, you know, if you could actually uh, mouth that beautiful dialogue, which you'll do with utmost ease. May apni favorite ho. Okay, say that one more time. May. May. Apni. Apni. Favorite ho. Favorite tone. Yeah. May apni favorite ho. Would you want to say that again? May. May apni favorite tone. <laughs> oh my God. That's so hard. <laughs> You've already given your audition for Indian films and I'm sure you'll be flooded with offers uh, very, very soon. Now, what's been the most hilarious incident for you in the ring? Um, oh my God. Um, I mean, definitely Nia Jack screaming my hole was fantastic. <laughs> very fantastic. Um, I, I feel like there's a lot. I would say that's the most recent one. That was yes. the great greatest one. But I also think when, um, you know, formerly known Rusev um, threw a fish, like 
had a, brought a fish that na- he, you know, he brought out a fish and a dog and he named yeah. the dog after my ex-boyfriend, Dolph Ziggler. <laughs> and he named the fish cold fish Lana after me. And then I was able to throw the fish in his, um, his girlfriend at the time's face and also throw it in his face. And, um, that was great. That was really funny, but I have so many great funny memories throughout, you know, a- a- any w- embarrassing memory, something that you really want to bet for. I mean, definitely going through cakes. You know, Roman, Roman Reigns put me through a cake, which was really um, horrifying and terrifying at my wedding. And then Liv Morgan last year, who is now one of my best friends and my ex-lover, um, put me through a cake as well. And I, you know, I trended for a couple of days because my wedding was crashed and it was really unfortunate. But um, that was embarrassing, obviously. <laughs> And you know, playing a villainous character, which I've done for a long time, is fun, you know, in the sense that there's so much to it, you know, it's multi-layered, there's power that exudes, uh, you know, from such characters, because unless there is a villain, there can't be a hero. But how challenging is it to play someone so opposite to your real self? Um, it's, cha- you know, what makes it really challenging is because of everything that is online. Mm. So when I walk out there, I, I love being a villain. It's so much fun. You get to tap into like your alter ego or like in life. So often we got to do the right thing and we got to overcome like those bad, evil thoughts or, you know, being selfish, you know, we have to overcome that and hopefully do the right thing. Well, you know, when you play a villain, I can just lean into like all of those, like, those thoughts, those ba- maybe bad thoughts that I choose not to act out. And you just lean into it and you lean into your alter ego. And so it's a lot of fun, um, but you know, it does come and it, it is selfless. You have to be selfless because at the end of the day, the good guy is going to win. We want the good guy to win. We want people to root for the good guy. and We want people to hate the bad guy. And so, you know, people will boo you and um, which is a lot of fun. I love that. But like, sometimes it becomes really personal when people don't know where Lana finished and CJ begins and so they'll come after you on Instagram and Twitter and TikTok and YouTube and it's like wait but I'm also a real person you know and I think it's just taught me a lot when you know back to like what have I learned it's like it's taught me a lot of like our words mean so much like we can bring life or death to someone we can encourage someone or tear someone down and so you know taught me of how often people hide behind their screen because maybe they don't have the guts to say it to your face you know and I think at the end of the day social media is still like affects people like they you would say it in real life and so i think it's so important to be kind to one another and you know think twice when we say really 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 mean things even if it is online because it's affecting people's mental health and you know who knows what else and so that has taught me a lot um but i i'm really enjoying being a good guy right now i have two arch nemesis and that's Shayna baszler and naya jacks um um, I have been fighting them since September through nine tables, um, a lot of craziness, but you know, hopefully I'll be fighting at WrestleMania for the tag titles against them. And hopefully me and Naomi will become tag team champions. Yeah. In fact, you know, actually, not hopefully question. we will become <laughs> tag team champions. <laughs> my, my next question was that, you know, that you're so focused on being the champion, you know, all your efforts and all your, you know, thoughts are on being champion. So who are these big giants or who who are these giants that you're really keen on defeating? Who are these giants that you want to defeat? (laughs) My giants in my life, my dragons. I call Nia Jax the dragon you know i mean she is this beast she is um this 300 pound 6'1 samoan who can deadlift like a thousand pounds you know she's ruthless she is Wow, now she has a new boy toy, Reginald, who, you know, he, we were about to win. Let me tell you, we were about to win and become tag team champions. And then she got this little new boyfriend Mm -hmm. who got involved in our match. And Mm -hmm. unfortunately we lost because, you know, they cheated. It's like, wow, like you're already bigger, stronger, you know, all these things than us and that you take advantage of us. Now you're bringing someone out there on top of it and cheating. Mm-hmm. So we're not really happy about that to say the very least. Um, and then you have Shayna Baszler, who is another, you know, both of their tag team champions and they have been bullying me and harassing me for literally nine months, mm-hmm. you know, nine tables, commentary tables. Um, they injured me off 
They, I was about to become tag team champion with Asuka, who is um, our Raw champion, and they injured me off television. And so every time I'm almost there, I'm almost there to make my dreams come true and almost becoming um, tag team champion, it's ripped away from me. And it's at times like I want to give up. And at times I'm like, I just don't know if I can do this anymore. Maybe I don't, maybe I, that's not in my destiny. Maybe I'm not meant to be tag team champion. And, but then, I just remember those words. You got to believe in yourself. You got to keep going. You got to keep on trying. This is a, a marathon and not a sprint. Uh, the slow and the steady wins the race. So huh, I just keep <laughs> on pushing. I keep on getting back up. And I just hope that, not that I hope, I know we're going to become champions. I know we're going to become tag team champions. And I hope that inspires others to keep on chasing their dreams. Now, what was your first reaction to Nia shouting my home? What was your first reaction to that? <laughs> I mean, she's so dramatic. Let's just start off with that. Like, Nia Jax is one of the most, you know, the most dramatic people, a little crybaby, which mm. clearly happened, you know? Like, you know how many, you know how much further down I've fall, fallen before? Mm. You know how many harder hits I've taken from her just falling on her hole, you know, but she's just such a cry baby that she went and cried and I was able to take advantage of her tears and put her through a table and win the match. So, um, you know, I thought it was hilarious. I thought it was hilarious that I caused her to, um, you know, cry about her hole and put her through a table. And I'm really glad she trended for a couple of days because that meant people were talking about our, our match and talking about our table match. And you know, Natalia was also a slightly derogatory, uh, you know, towards you, but you gave a befitting reply to Natalia. So do you think, you know, relationships here are very erratic, you know, in the world of WWE? Yeah, you know, that's a great question because I think that, you know, you think and that's what's sometimes the hardest for me is because I think people are my friends and I think that they have my back and I and all of a sudden they're backstabbing me. And it's because at the end of the day, there's only one spot. I mean, technically, there's literally only four spots to be champion. Raw women's champion, SmackDown women's champion, and the tag women, you know, the women's tag titles. And so there's only so many spots. And at the end of the day, we're all competing for that spot. We're all competing to be number one. We're all competing to make our dreams, you know, possible. And some people are just more ruthless you know some people will do whatever it takes to get to the um top even if that means backstabbing people like mm. natalia did on mm. talking smack and um you know um i've done that the ravishing russian lana has done that plenty of times and she realized that's not the person that she wants to be that's not the person that she wants to have define her is you know being stabbed backstabbing people in the back she wants to be kind she wants to do it the right way and you know sometimes it takes a little longer to be a good person to be kind to be loving to do things the right way to be honest mm -hmm. sometimes takes a little bit longer but you know i uh, sleep better at night knowing i do it that way tell me how different and interesting are the chapters of lana from that of cj's Oh my God. I mean, there's some things that are very similar and some things very different. Or, you know, in, in acting, we often talk about substitution. And, you know, if you haven't gone through that real experience in your life, what can you substitute from a different experience in your life that will bring out that same emotion? And so that's why I always encourage anyone that wants to be a WWE superstar to take acting classes because we're actors and we're athletes. Um, so I think right now the story that I'm telling on Monday Night Raw is very similar to CJ. The, the gray line is very blurred um, because I'm not always the most skilled. I'm not always the strongest or the fastest or the quickest learner in the room, but I have passion, I have heart, I'm resilient, and I don't take no for an answer. I will find a way, I will dig a tunnel, I will make a bridge, I will go around, but I will get to where I wanna get. And I think that's ultimately the story that I'm telling right now. It's like, no, I'm not gonna get bullied. No one's gonna tell me that I'm uh, that I'm not strong enough, that I'm not fast enough, that I can't achieve my dreams. That just means I have to maybe work a little bit differently and do some things a little bit differently. Think a little bit more outside of the box to achieve my dreams and become champion. First, tell me, who, who is it that you know easily identify with? Who is it that you most easily relate to? Is it Lana or is it CJ? Who is more well, relatable for you? 
I mean, to, to me, well, I mean, I think definitely CJ for sure. Um, <laughs> I think Lana, Lana definitely has her ways. I mean, um, for sure. She's a, definitely a little bit more ruthless. Mm. Um, but I think that with Lana, you know, in 2020, she went through so many lows. Like she got two divorces, you know, she, all her best friends broke up with her. She went through so many lows that now she's going through this transitional stage. She's yes. changing, she's learning from hardships. So maybe Lana is becoming a little bit closer to CJ and maybe she will become a little bit more relatable. And um, maybe more people, maybe through this, people will be able to identify a little bit more with Lana. We also wanted to speak to you about your film with Bruce Willis. Cosmic Sin. What was the entire experience of working with the one take movie star like with Bruce Willis? Oh my God, Bruce Willis was, he's amazing. He's an icon, he's a legend. I mean, when you work with him, you're like, wow, this is the reason why you're a big movie star that they pay big bucks to. Um, he, yeah, I mean, everything when, when he was there acting, you're just like, he's a one take person. Mm -hmm he does make. so uh, you know he's the legend I've watched him growing up um, so many movies I was obsessed with um, you know I couldn't I, I had to stop myself from trying to go up to him and be like I'm seeing dead people I'm seeing dead people <laughs> um, but um, you know um, yeah I mean The Sixth Sense was one of my favorite movies the same as um, The Fifth Element so it was really awesome to be able to work with him and do you think WWE is playing an instrumental role in promoting women equality? Yes, I think, you know, WWE has given us women so many opportunities. Um, I think we haven't come this far to only come this far. And I think there's a lot of things that we are, I'm willing to still fight for. Um, and I think many of the women are, many people in the locker room, you know, we, we want more opportunities and we're so thankful for the ones that they have given us. But um, all we ask for as women is we can have the same opportunities as men. And it's exciting because the women are, we're out there killing it. You know, our social numbers are, you know, crushing the guy's social numbers. Our um, social following is crushing the guy's, um, social following and so you know because sometimes that's a lot of times the only opportunities that we get we'll get two minute matches on you know monday night raw so how can we make this story more interesting if all you're giving us is two minutes how can we go on all the different social platforms and try to tell that story I, you know if that's putting out promos out on social media if that's putting out even tiktoks on tiktok you know trying to get it out and so because we have this this mentality when we're given just two and a half minutes and the guys are given more you know i think that says a lot i think it says because we've taken these the 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 lack of and we go you know what we're not satisfied we're gonna go and grab the brass ring i'm gonna grab the brass ring from tiktok from youtube from twitter from instagram so you can't ignore us so we finally get more opportunities you can't ignore us that you have to put us on wrestlemania that you we've created so much buzz that you can't ignore us that we will have more wrestlemania matches you know and so i i'm very excited and thankful that i'm in a locker room of women that are as passionate about these things as me it was amazing speaking to you about wrestlemania about you know your film about your much awaited visit to india and your interest in bollywood so thank you so much for your time. Is there any message that you would like to send out to all your fans across the world before we just sign off? I love you guys so much. Keep fighting, keep pushing, and keep tracing your dreams. Yes. Thank you so much, Lana, for your time today. Thank you for having me.